Gotti, and this is Colton Hines very own. We will be providing you with a variety of updates about school, weather, local stories, and even worldwide stories. Please join us for the club and sports meeting segment managed by Leslie Larios. Leslie? My name is Leslie Larios, and I'll be talking about club meeting info. The Crafts Club meets Mondays at 3.30 p.m., and you can always email Ms. Garza for more information, or you can contact them through their Instagram. The Band Book Club meets Mondays at 3 o'clock p.m., and you can always email Ms. Leva for more information. The Wellness Club meets Tuesdays at 3.30 p.m., and you can always email Mr. Alvarez for more information. The AP slash Honors Biology Club meets Thursdays during lunchtime. Email Mr. Siobe for more information. And the Marine Biology Club meets Thursdays at 2.15 p.m. And you can always email Ms. Pelletier for more information. Now on to Savannah with class event announcements. Make sure to support your senior class of 2021 with a yard sign or banner. You can order them by emailing gtimprints.com with your order request. Make sure you provide your name and a picture. You can DM GT Imprints on Instagram or text 909-800-0308. Banners will be shown on Valley Boulevard. Link who will be holding a social event. It is a social hour for students ran by students. It is held every Monday at 2.50 p.m. ending March 29th. The class code is YGNUE2X on Google Classroom. Hi, my name is Jolena Silverman and I'm here with your COVID updates. The number of cases in the San Bernardino County have been 288,135 and with the number of amount of 283,151 resolved cases and also 3,198 deaths. With the goal of making a COVID-19 vaccine available to all persons who choose to receive it, healthcare officials have developed a phased approach to make the first vaccine available to high-risk healthcare workers, skilled nursing, and long-term care facilities and first responders. Vaccines began on December 16, 2020 in the San Bernardino County and are still continuing. All, all San Bernardino County residents over ages 65 and over are eligible to be vaccinated against COVID-19. Even if you have been vaccinated, please remain wearing your mask in public areas and continue social distancing. This all also applies to those who are also not vaccinated. Hi, my name is Marissa Lopez and I'm here to give you the birthday shout outs for the month of March. From Irma Hernandez to Marlene Flores, happy birthday, best friend, I love you. From Sixth Period to Mrs. Gadea, happy birthday, Ms. Gadea. Thanks for being an amazing teacher. We hope you have a great birthday. From Mr. Martinez to Julia, Herma, Brianna, David, happy birthday from Mr. Martinez's class. Now on to the weather with Ariel. Hi, my name is Ariel and I will be doing the weather for the upcoming week. On Monday, it will be a rainy day with a high of 61 degrees and a low of 39 degrees, so make sure to stay dry. On Tuesday and Wednesday are both sunny days, and Thursday is a little cloudy with a high of 75 and a low of 47. And lastly, Friday is a sunny day with a high of 75 and a low of 49. Now to Ashley with Student of the Month. Hi guys, it's Ashley Valletta and I'm going to be providing you guys with the Student of the Month. Student of the Month is Brisaida Rodriguez and here are some words from her. Hi, I'm Briseta Rodriguez and I'm getting awarded in the subject Honors English 2. I feel very happy since I haven't been student of the month since elementary. Um, I'd like to say thank you to Ms. Khan for choosing me out of all of her other students that she has. Now on to Newsflash with Ariel. <laughs> Hi, for today's news flash, I will be talking about the wellness fair. Don't forget, today is the last day to attend from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. If you would like to win a prize, please join the wellness fair and register at wellnessfair.org. Hope to see you there. Nada Leslie for CIF slash sports updates. Hi, I'm Leslie Larios with your sports news. Now on to Coach B for updates. Colton High School, what's up guys? This is Coach V with your sports update. Um, 
as most of you know, we got approved on Tuesday to start with the majority of our sports. And we don't have a whole lot of time. We want to get you guys on the field uh, as, as early as possible to give you as much training as possible. So we're shooting to start this upcoming Wednesday, the 17th. There's going to be an information meeting that you guys have to be at on Monday evening. There's going to be one uh, version in English, one in Spanish. We're also going to record it and post it on the website so that everyone can get that information even later. But we're starting on Wednesday and there's a few things that I need you guys to do in order to be cleared even, even further than the additional or the, um, I'm sorry, than the normal clearance process. So visit athleticclearance.com if you haven't already. Create your account for this school year. Choose the sport that you want to play uh, and, and answer all the questions. Go get your physical, get that uploaded, find your insurance card, take a picture and upload it. Uh, if you need help, if you need insurance, you can let your coach know or you can email me or call someone at the school and, and we can get you hooked up with some pretty cheap insurance. You can also find that information on our Instagram page. Uh, I, I sent a link to our athletics website there. Um, there's going to be a few more things I need you to do that I'm working on finalizing right now. Uh, there's a waiver that you guys will need to sign uh, and a course through nfhs.org. Uh, and it's a COVID safety course. It's a free course to take, but it takes an hour. So I didn't want to give you guys all this information on Monday night, knowing that there's not much time before we get started. So be on the lookout. There's going to be an email coming out. Uh, follow our social media accounts, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever you're most comfortable with. Um, hopefully Ms. Buzzkirk will help me out and she'll, uh, she'll share that stuff out as well. But be on the lookout for the information. Uh, and I would start clearing if you haven't already this weekend, um, because we don't have room for every single kid who wants to play. We can only have 10 kids per coach that we have out there, okay? So if we can only have 20 kids because we only have two coaches in a sport like softball, uh, there's only going to be 20 kids able to come. So it'll be the first 20 that clear. So keep that in mind. Make sure you guys are doing this stuff. Don't wait till the last second. Go get your physical, create the account. If you have any questions, uh, you can email me. You can message me on one of the social media accounts. I'll get it. Um, and I'll be working throughout the weekend to, to make sure you guys are, are prepared and I'll be clearing everybody uh, throughout the weekend and on Monday. Um, can't wait to see you guys all out there on Wednesday and uh, and we will be practicing throughout spring break. Um, just really quick, the sports that we will not be practicing right now. Um, unfortunately, basketball and wrestling right now we don't have clearance for because they're indoor sports. Unfortunately, football, volleyball, and cross country, those seasons are are right at the end. They're, they're just about done. And so the decision was made by the district leadership to forego those sports for this year. We're hoping to get you all out here uh, and doing some training and getting ready for next year sometime in April or May. Okay, so just still be on the lookout. Keep training. Uh, feel free to join another sport if you'd like to. Um, yeah, looking forward to Wednesday. Can't wait to get going with you guys. Thank you, Coach V. Now on to Jolena with your local stories. With this upcoming news, on February 24th, the district has not approved the returning of in-person class for the rest of the year. This also includes summer school. This year's summer school will take place virtually. More information on summer school will be given closer to the end of the school year. Hi guys, my name is Ashley Oleta and I'm going to be doing special stories. The special story for this week is about the new tradition that just started at Colton High School, Mr. and Ms. Yellow Jacket. Mr. and Ms. Yellow Jacket are two seniors who are nominated by their peers and teachers to be the most outstanding for their senior year. Students and teachers were emailed a Google form on March 5th. The form allows people to nominate one senior boy and one senior girl. Um and uh, area where they put why they nominated that senior. Nominations are due today, Friday, March 12th, and the top five boys and top five girl seniors who are nominated the most will be placed on the ballot scheduled for April 16th, and the ballot will close April 23rd at 3 p.m. Nominees will have a chance to campaign through social media and Colton High School very own weekly video. The Mr. and Miss Yellow Jacket winners will be announced on the April 30th announcements and their prize, prize slash recognition will be given to them during senior awards. Now on to Leilani with Staff of the Month. Hey guys, me again. This month's Staff of the Month is Mr. Ramos and here he is with a few encouraging words. Hi guys, my name is Mr. Ramos. Uh, I teach um, biology, earth science, and English 1 at Colton High School. Um, I just want to say thank you guys for this uh, awesome award. I'm very appreciative and uh, honored to be chosen for this. Uh, I have just some inspiring words that I have is uh, maybe it seems a little cheesy. It's from Star Wars, but failure is the best teacher of all. 
Um, really don't, don't be discouraged by any failures that you may have, but be inspired to learn from them and do better from it. Um, it's just a mentality thing. You just have to continue to push forward. And especially during these trying times, there's no better time to, to apply this than now. So um, I just want to say congratulations to all of our seniors as graduation is coming up as well. And once again, thank you guys. It's a, it's an honor to be uh, chosen for, for this. Have a great one. Go Yellow Jackets. Thank you, Mr. Ramos. Now on to Stephanie with your college info. Hello, my name is Stephanie Gomez and I'll be talking about college info. I'll be talking on behalf of the Apple Scholarship Foundation. The Apple Scholarship Foundation is accepting 2021 scholarship applications now through Tuesday, April 6th. Please note, the scholarships are available to students who plan to attend a community college or four-year university, or also to students who plan to pursue post-secondary vocational training please take advantage of this opportunity. The online application includes a well-written essay on the topics, plans for my future, describe how an Apple scholarship will help you meet your post-secondary education and career goals. Essay should not exceed more than 500 words. Applicants must be qualified as current graduating high school seniors attending any of our CJUSD high schools or the children of CJUSD employees. All applications must be received by Tuesday, April 6th. April 6th. 2021. Qualifying members of the class of 2021 may apply at the link next to me right here. Thank you so much. I'm moving on to pick up days for food and materials. Hello, my name is Stephanie Gomez and I'll be talking about the pick up days for food and materials. The pick up days for the grab and go meals are in this following image. Now for the pick up days for materials are the following Monday, Wednesday, and Friday between 8 through 11 a.m. at the Rancho Bus Loading Zone. Now moving on to Marissa for our outro. This has been Colton's High Very Own. I'm Marissa Lopez. On behalf of our team, we're pleased to provide you with accurate and weekly news. Take care, Yellow Jackets.